every time I slang my things, you know I'm doing things. Little thing I lingers, I give him the fingers, and I have to pass him by. My pussy drives he insane. Make he come with a slang of my bangs. That pussy fine cut dime, bangs late all the time. Leave the bar with bitches wanting more. I got my PhD in bangology. Like I said, I'm doing things. I took another course in zoology. Just so I could get you beastly looking bitches together. Let me show you how my bangs work. And how I make this pussy twerk. I have a lot of things to show he. If he ready to learn. Let me show you how my pussy works. And how I make that we we squirt. I have a lot of things to show he. If he ready to learn. My dang bitch. It's just lotion. Don't flag my shit. Dumbass. And yeah, what's T girl? How y'all doing? Y'all all boy? Hmm. Girl. So, girl, I was on Miss Twitter last night. Late at night, I was on Miss Twitter, right? So, I'm fucking around on Miss Twitter and shit, girl. And I just so happened to catch out the corner of my eye that Brian McKnight was a trending topic. Now, bitch, I ain't heard from Brian McKnight since the one-two step was relevant, bitch. I ain't heard from that motherfucker since then. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm thinking, oh, no, Brian McKnight don't die. Like, right off the bat, I'm like, no, Jesus, he did. Oh, wow, Brian McKnight got to die, Lord. You just took Whitney from me last week. Jesus, why you take Brian McKnight? He didn't even have a chance. He was just a kid. Oh, Lord. I'm going to give it one last cry, Lord. I'm going to give it one last cry, Lord. You know, I was upset and shit because I'm thinking a nigga dead, right? So I click on the link, try to find out what's the tea with Brian McKnight. So I'm already going into this shit upset. You know, I'm thinking a nigga dead. So here go this link talking about something. Click this and you can see what the fuck's going on with Brian McKnight. So like I said, I'm going to say shit, right? I click the motherfucking link. I click the motherfucking link. And this nigga is sitting inside Bin Laden's garage making music. And the reason why I say he's sitting in Bin Laden's garage is because I ain't seen Brian McKnight since the motherfucking 90s, okay? I ain't seen that motherfucker since first, first time I look into your eyes. I ain't seen that nigga since then, okay? So the only person that can hide like that is Bin Laden. So I'm assuming the nigga was hiding with Bin Laden. So anyhow, this nigga sitting in Bin Laden's garage making music, right? This motherfucker got a haircut. He about 25 plus years, too old for. Let, talking about some, let me show you how your pussy work. Nigga, let me show you how the fucking barber shears work, bitch, okay? Let me show you how that shit work, bitch. Let me give you a fade so you can look your motherfucking ape. Then a nigga sitting in nigga pajamas, girl. He's sitting in nigga pajamas. And for those of y'all who don't know what nigga pajamas are, let me explain. Black people don't buy pajamas. What we wear to sleep is what we don't wear no more. You know what I'm saying? We're like, girl, I don't even wear this shirt no more, girl. Well, girl, you can sleep in that, girl. That's just something you can sleep in. That's what the fuck we do. We don't buy pajamas. We just wear old ass motherfucking clothes and sleep in them shits. I'm sorry. Like, I ain't seen Brian McKnight since the 90s. He's just been MIA and shit. This motherfucker sitting in a garage somewhere making music and shit. Picture this shit. Picture his girl coming home from work. Like, his girl been at work all damn day long and shit. And she coming home from work to this nigga sitting in the garage with his nigga pajamas on with a sweet tea up on the counter fucking around on garage band and shit, girl. Picture this shit. She come through the door, right? Nigga, what, nigga, what you been doing all day long? Oh, baby, baby, baby. Listen to this new song I made. Listen to this new song I made. Let me show you how your pussy works. Nigga, how about you show me how you motherfucking go to work with your unemployed ass? You know what I'm saying, bitch? How about you fucking show... Did that ever motherfucking cross your mind anytime that you need to be using that computer to fill out a motherfucking application instead of sitting here talking about let me show you how your pussy work? Jobless ass motherfucker sitting in your damn pajamas all day. Get a job, nigga! You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me she ain't come from that spot. Show me how your pussy work wasn't doing nothing for her ass that been at work all goddamn day long to come home to this nigga. Just... Baby, check out this new song I got. 
Motherfucker, I would have went AWOL on his ass. I wish a nigga would. I wish I would work all damn day long <laughs> and come home to a nigga like, hey, baby, listen to this song I got. Five, six, seven, eight. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Let me show you how my pussy. Bitch, I swear to God, I would go off. I would turn that garage upside down, bitch. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my people. Like, I don't know what's wrong with my people. Like, out of nowhere, like, they hit 40 and they just lost their minds. Like, they hit 40 and lost their mind. Mary J. Blige, she up here going hard for crispy chicken. Brian me night in the damn garage singing about let me show you how your pussy work. Like, what the fuck is going on with these motherfuckers? <laughs> Brian McKnight will also be doing a book signing at the uh, Barnes & Noble in Union Square. His uh, first book ever released, uh, How Pussy Works for Dummies. <laughs> Corny ass joke. Bitch, I'm about to read and pull you out the closet. Bitch, I'm about to read and pull you out the closet. Bitch, I'm about to read and pull you out the closet. You cannot tell me, bitch, that you was not walking through the hallways of school this morning, bitch. You cannot tell me you was not sitting at your desk at work doing this shit right here. Let me show you how your pussy works. Just singing this shit to yourself. Just singing this shit to yourself. Bitch, that ain't nothing but a hit. I'm telling you, that ain't nothing but a motherfucking hit. I hope to God Brian McKnight releases this song because that shit is straight fire. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Brian McKnight, if you release this shit, it's a fucking hit. That shit is going to number one because it's fire. That shit is straight fire. Last night, Brian McKnight, he got on Twitter and he said, you know, it's a shame that I had to do something like this to get everybody's attention. Bitch, stop crying. Understand this. Right now, right the motherfucking now, now, you got everybody's attention. Strike while the iron is hot. Strike while the iron is hot. Release that shit. Put that shit on iTunes and have the album following that shit the next week, bitch. Because you got FC. Let me tell you something, Brian. Let me tell you something. See, you used to us, the 80s babies. You know what I'm saying? Because when you was out, you was out during the 90s. In the 80s babies, we was buying your shit. You used to us. It's a new breed out there. It's a new breed. It's the 90s babies. These motherfuckers right here, the 90s babies, these motherfuckers like some raunch. They some raunchy, ratchet ass motherfuckers. If your soul ain't got bitch sucker dick skeet on my motherfucking throat and eyeball, they ain't buying you shit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Brian. You got to come at these motherfuckers a different way. You, these, Girl, this is the problem I got with fish. This is the problem I got with Fish. Here it is, this sexy ass R&B man, right? This nigga singing about, let me show you how your pussy works. And these bitches, they just sitting there melting. And she's like, oh my God, Brian McKnight, I love you, girl. You hear what he's singing about, girl? Let me tell you some shit. True T, girl, Brian McKnight got a time. He got one time to walk up to me and say, let me show you how your pussy works. And I'm going to let him. And I'm going to fucking let him. Here you go. Show me what to do. Show me what to do. What to do. What to do, huh? What to do? Oh shit, that what do, Brian? That what a motherfucker do. <laughs> <laughs> so girl, I said that shit last night on Twitter, right? About how if Brian McKnight said, let me show you how your bussy works, I would let him, right? So I said that shit last night on Twitter, right? And how about a stranger fag caught feelings? A stranger fag caught feelings behind me saying that shit. This motherfucker came around the Twitter corner on my ass and cussed me out. This motherfucker came around the Twitter corner like this. Your videos are the reason why people have a negative outlook on gay people. And bitch, I'm looking around. After he said it, I'm looking all over the motherfucking places. I know he must be looking for someone who gives a fuck. Because he, I don't know who, where the person is that give a fuck, but I know he's looking for him. And I can't help him. Because I don't give a fuck. But yeah, girl, she came for me on Twitter. Miss Thing came for me on Twitter, girl. And then... Then she had another stranger fan co-sign and shit. This other bitch, she gonna come through like, mm-hmm, girl, I agree with you 100%. Shaking my head at Brian B. I'm like, damn, bitches. Y'all just don't know I don't give a fuck. They don't, girl, I don't know what it is about me. I don't know what it is about me. Like I said, this shit was the trending topic on Twitter. Everybody was going in. You know what I'm saying? I came onto my timeline. I see Kid Fury. He going in. I see Miss G. Is she going in? I'm like, shit, let me get a piece of that, y'all. Let me get some of that shit. Let me get some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I jump up in the motherfucker with him. You know what I'm saying? And the second I start hitting these motherfuckers, like, oh, this nigga. He always got to take shit too motherfucking far. Always got to take shit too far. And see, that's why when it comes to my channel, I never tell people comment, rate, subscribe. I never tell people that because I know I'm not for everybody. And I'm not trying to get a group of motherfuckers that don't like me. You know, if you see my shit, you with that, then you'll subscribe, you'll like my video, whatever the case may be. 
If I'm not for you, then go on my motherfucker way. It never works like that. It never works like that. Motherfuckers that don't like me, these motherfuckers will go on Twitter, follow me on Twitter and shit to fuck with me. And I don't give a fuck. See, the shit that they don't understand, no, girl. I'm not that person that can sit there and argue with you over a computer because, bitch, I go from zero to a hundred, so I can't even concentrate. My hands are shaking and shit. It's never enough of those 140 characters. I never have enough space to fully read a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I never have enough space to fully read a bitch like I need to read a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because before I know it, I'm negative 300. And now I got to fucking edit this shit and take shit out. Like, damn, I got to take that out. Damn, that piece was good right there. Girl. That was the read right there. But I got to take that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Just to make it enough to fit on Twitter so I can send that shit, girl. That's why I ain't got the time. See, I'm more like that girl from World Star Hip Hop. Did y'all see that video? The girl from World Star Hip Hop, that the, the bitch was talking shit about her on Twitter, and she went to the girl's house in rain boots and wore that bitch out on her front porch. She beat that bitch between a wall and an air conditioner. I was like, bitch, you better. You better. She took her rain boots and stomped that bitch and had a bitch record it. Then she dragged her off the porch by her. I hope y'all can find the video, because I'm not going to have it in the underneath a bar. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the T.I. truth. That shit will not be in the underneath a bar, girl. You better Google that shit. But, but anyhow, she whooped this girl's ass at her front door. See, let me show you how shit work at my house. This is how my front door is. My front door is set up just like this. Just in case shit like that happened. It's set up just like this. Y'all see that shit? That's a bat by the motherfucking front door. Just in case a nigga wants some. Just in case a nigga would. Because I wish a nigga would. I wish a motherfucker would. Or in case I ain't got enough of dominoes. If I ain't got enough of dominoes, I'll open up the door. Pat! Take my shit. You know what I'm saying? I go on inside the motherfucking house. Just me. You know, I'm sorry, stranger fag, if you felt some type of way about that shit. But true T, it was all in good key. That's all it was. It was just all in good key. We were just trying to have a good time, bitch. I don't know why you put feelings behind it, girl. Beats the fuck See, out of me. That's what I mean. Fish is so shaky. Fish is so shaky. Brian McKnight got one time to come to me talking about, let me show you how your pussy work. And I'm going to hold the nigga to it. I'm going to hold the nigga to it. I'm coming at that motherfucker naive like a motherfucker. I'm sorry. I don't even know what to do. Uh, Brian, you know what to do. Show me what to do, Brian. I'm I'm as naive like a motherfucker. When that nigga sitting there on his motherfucking mouse and shit, I'd have straddled that nigga's hand and sat right on his hand in the mouse like, nigga, show me, show me how it worked. How it worked. I don't even know how it worked. Show me, show me how it worked. Leave your motherfucking finger smell like tuna fish in this bitch. I ain't playing with you. <clears throat> People are like Brian McKnight is a musical genius. How could he stoop so low? What happened? Understand this. That nigga is still a musical genius. When that motherfucker said, let me show you how your pussy works. Understand this. At that moment, I'm looking where I could buy this shit. I ain't bought a CD since Carter had liver pills. But I'm out there like, where the fuck can I get this shit from? I need this shit. And the thing about the song is this. Even though this is some raunchy ass, vulgar shit this nigga's talking about in the song, it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb in the song. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. That motherfucker said that shit, jumped up on that motherfucking beat like this. Like he was fucking that shit. Jumped up on that motherfucking beat, and that motherfucker was like, Let me show you how your pussy work. How I make the pussy squirt. Like that nigga saying some of the nastiest fucking shit I ever fucking heard of in a fucking song. Coming from Brian McKnight. But the shit sounds smooth than a motherfucker. That motherfucker just right there on that motherfucking beat. And you know what? That shit right there takes talent. No other artist could have done that except for Luther Vandross. He's the only other person that could have done that except for he wouldn't have been singing about no pussy. Hmm. 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 Damn shame the man died in the motherfucking closet. Didn't even have a chance to fucking live his life because of fucking society. Damn shame. But anyhow. But yeah, Brian McKnight, I need for you to release an album. I need for you to give me that. Because understand what we left with right now. Understand this, Brian. See, the 90s babies, they don't really understand where I'm coming from right now. And I don't give a fuck. We're left with Trey Songs and fucking Chris Brown. Okay? Don't get me wrong. Both of them are gorgeous. Gorgeous. But musically, damn it, Brian, help. Shit. I can't. Give me something with some substance. Just give me some of that shit that you were singing. Right the fuck. Let me show you how your pussy works. Bitch, I swear to God, I'll go out and buy that shit. I swear, I put it on Diggy Heart. I'll go out and buy that motherfucker. Yeah, Brian, you let Brian McKnight fuck? Hell yeah, bitch. Understand this, bitch. Y'all may be looking at me sideways, bitch, but when I'm cashing them Brian McKnight royalty checks, okay, when I'm up in the motherfucking bank like this, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-m
Because, bitch, I'm going to be up in the bank just like that shit. When I get to the counter, mm, 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 mm. y'all want to cash this Brian McKnight royalty check. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Cash that shit, bitch. Mm, 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 mm. And while you back there, get me one of them lollipops. A cherry one. Cherry. Mm, 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 mm. 